Hey, how's it going guys? Mr. Boss for the win here, and in today's GTA video, we're going to be talking about how there could be a new Rockstar Games trailer coming to the PS5 event. We'll talk about what that could be and when it could happen. We'll also be explaining why Grand Theft Auto 6 had many rumors that it was going to be coming out in either 2023 or 2024. That has been explained. And also why Rockstar have decided to change their profile pictures and backgrounds on all their social media platforms today. I've been getting a handful of questions about that. All right, so let's begin with Rockstar having a new trailer at Sony's PS5 event. This is something that people have anxiously been waiting for, wondering if Rockstar would make an appearance there, because as we've talked about in previous videos, Rockstar in the past has sort of piggybacked off of Sony's events. If we flash back to E3 2014 at their press conference, it's where they actually announced that Grand Theft Auto V was going to be coming out for the next generation consoles or at the time next generation consoles ps4 xbox one so they've done stuff like this in the past and the other day we actually got a handful of tweets from chris liberty 93 who is the creator of rockstar games mag which is a very popular and successful rockstar fan site he put out a couple of interesting tweets and responded to some people as well so you'll have to forgive me for this being translated from French. That was the language these guys were conversing in. But this person, Latchme, ended up saying, Good evening. Do you think there is a possible announcement from Rockstar Games on June 4th during the PS5 event? Again, sorry, that's a rough translation from Google there. And Chris ended up saying, Not impossible. This will have to be followed very closely. Sony hasn't announced whether it's going to be first-party games or third-party games or both, but a PS5 trailer of RDR2 is not impossible. Okay, so a little bit of a follow-up to that. Sony actually did come out and say that it's going to be both first-party games and third-party games, meaning that it's not just going to be PS5 exclusives and companies that specifically develop for Sony which means that a third-party company like Rockstar could end up showing up at this event. Now, as a follow-up to that, this same person said, okay, thank you for your answer, but frankly, I hope that I can play GTA V and Red Dead Redemption 2 with ray tracing. Have a good evening. Referring to one of the graphical features that's going to be on the PS5. And Chris said, it will not be both. From what I hear, a PS5 slash Xbox Series X version of Red Dead Redemption 2 is in development. A next-gen trailer would apparently be ready and planned for a PS5 event. And I specify an event, not necessarily that of June 4th, so wait and see. All right, so according to Chris Liberty 93 who I should preface isn't an insider, but as the creator of a Rockstar Games fan site, I would imagine he has a handful of potential sources that might know what they're talking about. He says there's going to be a new Rockstar Games trailer, and it could be for a new version of Red Dead Redemption 2 on the Xbox Series X and PS5. And what's interesting about this is he is saying this at the exact same time there's been a very interesting leak on 4chan. Really quickly, this is what they had to say, saying it, Rockstar will be announcing a new game this year. It'll be a Red Dead Redemption 1 remake for PC, PS5, and Xbox Series X. Basically, RDR1 and RDR2's engine with some of the new stuff like better hunting and fishing. A few voice actors have been brought back, including Rob Weedoff to record some new lines. I'd expect new missions announcement sometime soon. Release is scheduled for quarter one, quarter two, 2021. And then they say GTA 6's announcement is summer 2022, which we talked about in a previous video. Seems a little bit silly that they've specifically narrowed down an announcement of the title. Uh, basically two years from now. And there was also some follow-up to that. This anonymous person posted, it'll be separate, not a DLC. The price is not final yet, but honestly, I could see it being sold for 40 bucks. It's being made by Rockstar India, a part of San Diego, and by Ruffian Games. Undead Nightmare will be included. So obviously that's really cool. There was more follow-up. He said, the head studio won't let it pass if it won't be up to a certain quality. It's approaching late stages of development now. So I think everything is going smooth. And last but not least, they said, haven't heard anything about it, the remake, having online. I wouldn't be surprised if Red Dead Online would get a Mexico update, though, if it's released. 
So it's interesting that both of these rumors are kind of coinciding together. Now, the last real update to that that you need to keep in mind is that the Sony event has actually been postponed. We've talked about this in previous videos. It was scheduled for June 4th, but Sony said that right now they don't feel it is the time for celebration and they want to stand back and allow more important voices to be heard. So because we don't know when this Sony event for the PlayStation 5 is going to occur, we really just will have to wait and see. But I know fans of Rockstar will very anxiously be waiting to check out that event to see if we spot the famous Rockstar logo appear in front of the screen and then a trailer ultimately happens. So I'll be sure to keep you guys posted on this saga if anything new comes out from it. Anyways, let's move on. Remember over the last week or so, there was a report that came out saying that GTA 6 was going to be releasing in 2023 to 2024 due to the fact that Take-Two Interactive was going to be shoveling a ton of money into marketing. Well, there's actually been an update to this story on gamesindustry.biz. The industry staff posted an article that said, Take Two betting on sports, not GTA 6. And basically, three guys on the game industry staff, Matt, Brendan, and James, discussed the biggest stories of the past week, starting with the speculation about the potential release window for GTA 6. Because rumors circulated that a spike in marketing commitments found within Take Two's financial document placed the launch of GTA 6 around 2024, but Brendan's ready to shatter that hope. And essentially, the podcast explains that that marketing spike wasn't for something like Rockstar GTA 6, but instead is probably more likely for a multitude of sports games that Take-Two Interactive is putting out. And the podcast itself is very interesting as they go into a lot of the business side of dealing with sports leagues like licensing for the game itself, licensing for the characters and being able to use their likeness in the video games themselves. So it's a very interesting read. I will leave a link to that in the description. The podcast isn't too terribly long. So if you wanted to do something while you were working on something else, it's a very interesting listen and they discuss a whole lot of GTA 6. So uh, I will leave a link to that in the description. And the last thing we're going to be discussing in this video today, I've been getting a handful of questions about this over the last couple of hours, is why has Rockstar on their social media platforms, Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter, changed their profile picture? It's just completely black, their background image completely black as well. And the reason people were asking me about this is in the past, whenever Rockstar has changed their profile picture, it usually means they're about to focus on some sort of update to a title, whether that be Grand Theft Auto Online, Red Dead Redemption 2. However, this change is completely unrelated to video games altogether. I'm sure you guys have been following the news recently and are aware of what's going on right now. This is Rockstar showing their support for the Black Lives Matter movement that has been amplified over the last couple of days. They are just showing their support. And Rockstar is certainly not the only ones in the video game industry to do this. There are tons, if not thousands, of other companies that are participating in this as well. So really, that's the long story short on why they have changed their profile pictures here. It's not to indicate an upcoming release. It's not to give us any hint or clue. It's just to be supportive of what's going on right now in the world. So don't be surprised throughout the day if you see other video game producers, your favorite musicians, actors, celebrities, just a lot of people in general that you might follow uh, doing this exact same thing. So that is the long story short regarding that. I know there was a little bit of confusion on it, especially on sites like Reddit and the GTA forums, but hopefully that clears things up. But anyways, that is all the information that I've got for you guys in this video today. Hopefully you did enjoy. I'd love to hear from you guys in the comments down below on everything we discussed in this video today, like Rockstar having a trailer at the PS5 event, the explanation for why GTA 6 won't be coming out in 2023 or 2024, at least according to recent findings, and why Rockstar decided to end up changing their social media backgrounds and profile pictures today. Let me know what you guys think about all that in the comments down below. I'd love to hear from you guys down there. If you guys did go on to enjoy this video, though, a like rating would, of course, be awesome. And be sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel if you are new or you want to stay up to date on all the latest GTA and Red Dead Redemption videos that I'm doing here on my channel. And be sure to ring that notification bell as well. Sometimes YouTube just doesn't work, and if you ring that bell, you'll always be guaranteed to be notified when new videos arrive. But of course, as always, guys, thank you all so much for watching. Take care.
and I'll see you guys in the next video.